In the last video, we talked about shape. And the way we saw a specific shape in that case was through using contour line drawing. And the fact is, not everybody works that way. So I'm going to show you a second way to get specific shape in today's video. This time it's going to be different. We're only going to be using the side of the pencil, making very light marks, because there's going to be some back and forth with this progress. So you're going to want to be able to erase it. So here I'm looking at a pretty specific and tricky shape. And I'm going to go from basic to complex. So my first challenge is with the side of my pencil to try and figure out exactly the envelope that this fits into, which is just the most simple, basic shape that could contain this entire object. And this is one of the hardest steps, because if you get this wrong, all of the successive steps afterwards will be a little bit wrong as a result. And then once you have the envelope down, then it's a series of increasingly specific divisions. So here I can say that the bottom of the bottle cuts in here a bit and then goes up vertically. And then off of that, there's a bit of a handle. And so in this way, I'm sort of roughing it out very geometrically. And for each of these angles, I'm be using the pencil angle measuring technique that I showed you in a previous video. Jumping ahead a bit further, you can see that I've refined the shape quite a bit. And there's still a record of my initial envelope. But as I define these curves out of shorter and shorter straight line segments, it begins to look more and more like the actual object. But the idea here is that I look at each angle carefully, slowly dividing the space into smaller and smaller segments. And eventually I end up with a rounded likeness of the form. So using my eraser, I'll erase away some of these initial construction lines and then darken in the lines that I actually end up with. So I chose to speed this part of the footage up, but really don't be deceived by that. This is a slow exercise. I drew this five times slower and I've had a lot of practice. So you might draw it 20 times slower. Each of these angles is best carefully measured. The whole idea is to make each angle as close as the real object as possible. So I made it fast just for easier watching, but don't be tricked. Both this video and last video came to a pretty similar result, which is a specific shape from the outline of an object. Now, the way that this video approached that was totally different. And I think in a lot of ways, this is going to take longer than a contour line drawing, just because it goes through so much more refining. The nature of this process is that it's a little slower. So your homework is going to be to do five of these drawings. And if you want to have a challenge, Pick some pretty complicated shapes. This bottle was good because it had a really interesting outline. So those are going to be the ones that you want to look for to really get the most out of this exercise. So have fun visual measuring. Thanks for watching, guys.